and welcome to Match Move for Production by VFX Tutors. I'm Josh and in this video we'll be continuing with the shot MM004. In part 2 we'll be importing our camera into Maya and getting it ready to be used. So now we have Maya open, the first thing we want to do is if we go to File, Import, we get Import, and if we go to where we exported our cameras and our understore plate, robot chest so if we go to and I'll bring in bring in your robot chest cam v1 mel import that in you should have a scene a group in your outliner if you rename that to mm for match move and then you should have a camera in here which is your sequence camera and a camera here at the origin which is your distortion camera you can delete your distortion camera because you don't need that anymore you go to panels, perspective, uh, robot chest, sorry. And you can see that we now have a camera in here, but we have the full the full resolution plate. So if we with our camera selected, if we go to the attribute editor and go right to our image plane shape at the top, what we can do if we Slick, go onto our image name and we'll switch this out for our undistorted plate. So we want to navigate to where you rendered out your undistorted plate. If we select the first one, click open, click use image sequence, and now we have a resolution that's easier to work with at 1080p. So Next thing we want to do is if we go file, import, we go to our data, and if we go to our um, set geo, set geo, and go to our scan, and import that in. It'll take a while because it's a scan, and as you can see, it's, it's coming with no texture. So what we do if we select it, if we right click and we can assign new material, call it uh, Arnold Standard Surface. And we'll reduce all the specs all the way down and we'll, we'll put color on it. We select the little checkboard where it says color and go to file. And when it and go into the little yellow folder and go up to your data package and go to set geo texture and load in the, the TIFF. Okay, probably won't do anything because now we need to go to shading, turn our hardware texturing on, and now we have our textured uh, set geo in place. So what we can do is if we select our camera here. And if we go to our image plane shape, and we can change our alpha gain to 0 0.7. And scroll down to our depth, and we press 1. We can now see our plate through it. If you want to turn the wireframe or shading on, it might be a bit dense. Do so. so we'll turn that on for now. So yeah. That, that's it, that's uh, it all set up and ready to go. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.